Hi, I'm Peter Suber. My project is called Tag Team. The chief difference between Tag Team and the other social tagging platforms is that Tag Team offers two services above and beyond ordinary social tagging. One of them is that it frees the participants in a given research project to use any social tagging platform they like. They don't have to use Tag Team. They could use Delicious instead. They could use Site You Like instead. And the tags that they apply with those platforms are integrated by Tag Team into a database of commonly tagged resources and output feeds for people who want to follow the results of the project. The other big feature that Tag Team has that the others don't have is that it supports user-defined tags in order to encourage participation, but it also allows the project managers to direct the evolution of those tags to a standard vocabulary that's relevant to the project. They can decide what the best tag is for that topic, agree on it, and then tell Tag Team to translate all those other tags into this agreed upon tag. We call this Foxonomy In, Ontology Out. So you get the best of both worlds. You do encourage user participation by supporting user-defined tags. Users don't have to memorize a vocabulary in order to get started and start tagging things for the project. But you also support a standard vocabulary on the output side, which is very useful for searching. The tag Team takes input in the form of tags from its participants, but it also publishes outputs uh, the most elementary form of output is an RSS feed, but it also publishes Atom feeds and JSON. Uh, and each of these can be turned into Twitter feeds and email feeds. Uh, there's an HTML version that looks like a blog. So there are many ways to read the output. Development on Tag Team started in 2011, and in the spring of 2013, we upgraded to uh, version 1.2. It was a, an aesthetic makeover that made it much more attractive, and it added the powerful search engine. Tag Team is open source. So if people think we're going too slow or if they want a feature that isn't on our priority list, they can take the code and add it themselves. But we are moving quickly to add the major features that are on our list and also the ones that we've heard about from users.